Hello and welcome to Eco Odyssey, a water labyrinth composed of 6.5 kilometers of water canals and 64 intersections. The marsh is a difficult region to access and essential to the survival of many animal and plant species. Providing many adventures, Eco Odyssey enables you to discover the fauna and flora of the marsh while having fun. Before starting, make sure you have in hand a walkie-talkie, an adventure guide, an adventure card, a marker and a key. For your security and in case of emergency, we lend you a walkie-talkie. If you get lost or need assistance, you can contact a staff member by calling on the 5.1 channel. To turn on the walkie-talkie, turn the button on the top left of the device to its maximum. To change channels, press the menu button at the center of the device, then press on the plus or minus buttons in order to choose the desired channel. Once the chosen channel number has been displayed, wait 5 seconds until the flashing of the number stops. To call a staff member, press on the musical note. When he or she answers, press the button on the left side of the walkie-talkie and keep it pushed in until you have finished talking. Make sure the red light stays on during the whole time of your message. To help the staff member locate your position, you must tell him or her the number of your adventure card and the number on the wooden figurine situated closest to you. The walkie-talkie must be worn at all times around the neck and must not be held close to the compass because it causes interference. To fully enjoy your adventure, we suggest you turn off your device except for emergencies. However, during bad weather, your walkie-talkie must stay on at all times. The adventure guide enables you to find all of the information that you need to orientate yourself in the marsh and to find clues. The guide contains a picture and a description of all of the installations, animal replicas, trees and shrubs in the marsh that you must identify during your adventure. The table of contents at the beginning of your adventure guide will help you to easily find the right section. At the beginning of each section, a summary presents pictures of all of the animals placed in alphabetical order. The number of the page under each picture shall give you characteristics and anecdotes about this species. The principal features of this species' description are in bold italics. For all animal species, the male is represented by the big picture and the female by the small one. At the end of your adventure guide, a glossary will help you better understand certain terms used in the guide. The snooper is an adventure that tests your imagination, your sense of orientation and your speed to identify animals. The purpose of this adventure is to find and identify the items hidden at different intersections or between intersections in the labyrinth as quickly as possible. You set off with a map of the labyrinth in hand. Each intersection has a number. It is very important to take note that the numbers of the intersections are not present in the actual labyrinth. You must therefore make sure you know exactly where you are on the map. The items that you must identify are found at some intersections, written on the back of the map, or between intersections if there are two numbers separated by a dash. The number of lines associated with an intersection number corresponds to the number of items to be identified at this location. In order to identify all of the animal replicas or structures, you must create your own route that passes by all of the right intersections. It is highly recommended to circle your destinations and to make up your own route before heading off. It is also possible to create teams and separate the task. Each team must therefore explore half of the maze. The items to identify are only from the animal or structures sections found in your adventure guide. Also, in the maze, you must ignore the numbers written on the wooden figurines. The tree, plant and shrub sections are therefore excluded from this adventure. As the snooper is a competition, a system of points is used. One point is given to each team for every correct answer found. The words must however be spelled correctly too. Also, as it is a race, points are given considering the speed of your team. 
The first team to arrive at the dock gets 15 points, the second 14, the third 13, and so on. The 16th or more team does not have any. It is also important to take note that every call made to a staff member during the adventure results in a deduction of one point. For your comfort, toilets have been installed in the labyrinth. On your adventure card, there is a pictogram that represents these toilets. Each adventure usually takes between an hour and an hour and a half to complete. You have a maximum of two hours to come back to the site. A key will be given to you to open the gate door of the labyrinth. You must give the key back to a staff member at the dock in order to have access to a paddle boat. After this point, it will be difficult to go back to the reception. You are now ready to start your race against time in the labyrinth.